Income Tax Season 2021. Welcome back everyone so happy to have you back in today's video we are going to go over when you should consider if you have to pay taxes on your hobby that you love to do there are nine factors that you need to consider and we are going to cover all nine of them but before we begin as always make sure to check out the income tax refund playlist pin in the comment section for all of your refund updates and tutorials like how to verify your identity how to order your transcript online tips to speak with the irs as well as how to schedule an in-person appointment and much much more make sure to check out that playlist this information is being shared from irs.gov a hobby is any activity that a person pursues because they enjoy it and with no intention of making a profit however this differs from those that operate a business with the intention of making a profit in determining whether your activity is a business or hobby you must consider nine factors number one whether the activity is carried out in a business-like manner and you the taxpayer maintains complete and accurate books and records if you start to keep receipt for this hobby start to write down all of the activities you do then it starts to change from a regular hobby to more into a business next number two whether the time and effort the taxpayer puts into the activity shows they intend to make it profitable if the things you are doing are with your uh with the intention of earning money from this particular hobby then this may not be a hobby anymore number three whether they depend on income from the activity for their livelihood so if you are uh, reliant on the money that you make from this hobby to survive and buy your basic necessity then that may no longer be just the hobby next we are going to number four whether any losses are due to circumstances beyond the taxpayer's control or are normal for the startup phase of your business next we are going to number five whether they change methods of operation to improve profitability so if you change the way you do things in order to improve or increase your earning potential then we are leaning towards a business and not a hobby next we are going on to whether the taxpayer and their advisors have the knowledge needed to carry out the activity as a successful business if you have the ex, uh, expertise in this particular hobby to easily turn this into a business then it is just not a hobby anymore it is more than a hobby next we are moving on to number seven whether the taxpayer was successful in making a profit in similar activities in the past you did something like this before and you were successful in uh, earning money from that and now you're doing something along the lines that's similar we are no longer just on a hobby we are we are turning that into a business it's no longer a hobby number eight whether the activity makes a profit in some years and how much profit it made and finally number nine says whether the taxpayer can expect to make a future profit from the appreciation of the assets used in the activity so if you purchase supplies equipment for this particular hobby and you can possibly make some money of those assets later 
then we are no longer talking about just a hobby. Next, it says all factors, facts, and circumstances with respect to the activity must be considered and no one factor is more important than the other so you must consider all nine factors when making a decision if you have to pay taxes on your hobby it says here as well if a taxpayer receives income from an activity that is carried on with no intention of making a profit they must report the income they receive. So if you earn any kind of income on your hobby, whether you intended to or not, you're still required to report that income. And it says you need to use Schedule 1 on Form 1040, Line 8. Let's go ahead and click on that form. And this is what it looks like. It says Schedule 1, uh, Additional Income, and Adjustments to Income. All right. So this is what you must consider in making a decision on if your hobby is no longer a hobby and it is turning into a business, then if it's turning into a business, you need to explore whether you need to pay taxes on that particular hobby. For instance, YouTube, if you start your YouTube channel just as a hobby and you do not pursue monetization, then it is just a hobby. The minute you start to pursue monetization and take the steps to be monetized, then it is no longer just a hobby. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Come back for all of your refund updates, stimulus updates, motivation on Mondays, and much, much more. Everything you need to know is on this channel, information based, providing you. I'm doing the research so you do not have to. And I will see everyone again very soon. Bye bye.